right i'm going to click on 64 bit and it will download i'll save it i might have downloaded hundreds of times but anyway what i'm going to say zip file i'm going to copy let me remove all these unnecessary things see how many times i have downloaded okay this one right i'll go to the c drive and i see another terraform right i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to right click extract here done and i'm going to delete this now as you see i have downloaded into c terraform so let me close this one open and try to run terraform now it won't be recognized why because the system don't know that terra very exactly is terraform so what i'm supposed to do i'll go copy this another terraform i'll say like sysdm.cpl sorry sorry environment variables right i'll say envi i open this edit new i'm going to paste it same like packer also okay i gave i mean you were to talk packer in the last class okay once you do that close the uh, command line and open the new command line and i'll say terraform version now you see terraform v 0.12.20 okay so this is how you can actually use the terraform version because you are really not going to download terraform every time you want to execute the code you're going to put your terraform centralized at one place normally we use jenkins right as yesterday which i told you the jenkins right so we're going to put install the terraform on jenkins and it will be used by jenkins to deploy which i'm going to show you at the end of this uh, this module right we're going to integrate everything with the jenkins and i'll, I'll show you how to do that one okay right so now i have the terraform now what i need to do is first thing i need to do is i need to uh download the right now i don't have any code guys if you see i don't have any code i just have terraform.exe right and what is the repository i say weekend devops class i can i'll go to this one cd weekend devops class here i'm going to say terraform init guys right now if you see, if you see what exactly is there you don't have anything in this one empty so if you type terraform in it what it will do is this terraform terraform in it what it will do terraform has initialized an empty directory it is simply saying you don't have anything if i go back nothing will happen now i need to have some sort of a code guys in order to work i need to have some sort of a code okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to open the microsoft visual studio code <clears throat> let me close the all the things okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go open the folder and uh, there is our folder it is weekend devops i'm going to open this right so if you see i have the open the folder now if you see at the left side right here you can see like this terraform explorer actually okay now what exactly happens is you need to in visual studio code what you can do is you can inst, uh, you can install the terraform uh, plugins actually or like extensions so that it will check the code is right or not everything how can i do that you can go to the extensions and simply type terraform terraform you will see a lot of things i think i already installed it see Tell of terraform mikhail something guy i installed everything okay so this is the extension i have i have installed actually what it will do basically it will uh, it will what it will do it will check the syntax highlighting linting formatting validation everything that means it will check it out if there are any issues with this one or let's see this there is one more is there uh, what this will do uh, terraform by anton so terraform configuration language support what it is saying 
this is a visual studio code extension adds base syntax support for terraform configuration language okay that means it is basically gives you it's called boilerplate code guys actually boilerplate means if i put like variable it should actually give me the how to access the variable and everything but uh, first i'm going to create a file how do i go i'm going to create something like this and i'm going to say main dot tf guys okay main dot tf so if you see for example uh, what i want is if i type here variable for example we because i installed the extension if i tip tab right you will get something like this for example if you want to create a resource right for example res tab you will get resource type and name and everything like that you will get the code ready made code available here moreover if you do some some incorrect coding and everything it will highlight the syntax saying that one there is some mistake here right now i have the main.tf so let me tell you one of the one of the good thing in terraform which i forgot to tell is this is the sixth point uh, we cannot have code formation or arm arm configuration in multiple files that means cloud formation and arm templates right we can't really put in multiple files you can use one json file or one yaml file and you can deploy it oh sorry this one not this one right this is this one the fifth problem but in terraform right what you can do you can have you can have configuration divided into multiple files that means i can put in main i can put all configuration main.tf the problem here is if you if you do such a way it will be a very big file what you can do that's why main.tf file you can put the main components and for ec2 you can create a separate file just like what i'm trying to say is you can go here for ec2 okay i can create a separate file so separate file and if i want to create the vpc i can create vpc.tf like this i can create the separate files and keep the code in different files guys okay keep the code in different files that is possible but anyway first we're going to concentrate on main.tf in the main.tf what we need to do we need to mention we need to tell uh, what which which vendor we are going to use are we planning this whole code for aws like azure or or digital ocean or whatever the cloud it is that is actually called as provider that is called provider if i type p r o it is giving provider right here i hit the tab now it is telling provider as name so now this is the time where we go and check for terraform documentation i'll say terraform provider Now, if you see on the left side, these are all the different providers AWS support and in this one on the left side, right? I'll go to the major cloud in the major cloud. These are the things supported starting from Alibaba, AWS, Azure, Azure Stack. Azure Stack is like it will be like on premises cloud GCP Oracle. So I don't know what is cloud infrastructure for the platform NSX VMware, VSP, all these things. Okay, but anyway, we go for AWS here. Now, if you see this is what the provider what you can do you can actually configure the provider and i'm going to paste it here now in the provider i i provide as aws actually the moment i said aws okay i'm going to save it let me show you what might happen if i type terraform init right if you see initializing the backend initializing the provider now what it do is downloaded the plugin for aws how do it know you should download the aws that's because we used it we used aws here if you go back here right you will see there was a dot terraform inside the terraform if you go plugins right inside the plugins you will see aws plugins will be there see this terraform provider aws plugin version is 2.49 okay now what i'll do is i just delete it and i'll do is i'll say give azure here let's see what will happen okay so i'm going to give it here now if you see it is saying that when you don't have this version okay i'm going to remove this hold on okay i'm going to run it again 
now what it is saying that okay, azure rm guys sorry not azure azure rm i need to give something like this okay okay now what is I, it is actually download the plugin for azure rm check it out so if i go back <coughs> go back here terraform plugins here you see azure rm 1.4 it has downloaded okay so this provider defines okay which cloud you are using and what is the version what is the plugin you need to download since if you give a uh, aws it will it will actually download the aws i'm going to remove that okay okay so it is one of the important thing you need to understand is don't try to remember everything it is not possible for you to remember everything guys because it will take some time and to i mean it will take a lot of time to remember and it's not it's not required also don't waste the time you just need to find out for example if you want to do something about like uh, for example ec2 you need to understand to go here check for ec2 and study it so to understand the syntax understanding syntax is very important you should not worry about like remembering everything it's not possible now here you need to give the provider and you need to you must provide the region and we can make it variables as well but we're going to talk variables in later point now what i want is here uh, you can give for aws right you can give the region also you can say where are the credentials you can give access key secret keys and everything and you can also give a custom profile uh, to provide the access to because simply by giving aws it won't get access to the aws right that's why okay now here this is the argument reference for the provider actually in addition to the generic so the following arguments are supported aws so you can give access key you can give secret key region profile assume role endpoints shared credentials max entries and also if you go here so you have a lot of things here ignore tags in one of the thing is you need to select the version as well if you come down <coughs> role mm, where is this so you can you can have the version as well actually so this version is nothing but the type of plugin you want to download if you don't give it will download basically uh, uh, the the default plugin actually so the plugins which has downloaded but you can provide it's not mandatory you need to have but in order to access aws or azure everything you need to provide region as well as the access keys without the access keys it cannot work now what i want to do is i want to do a simple thing very simple thing i want to create a vpc that's it nothing else i want to create a vpc in aws how i'm going to do that so if you see i have given provider here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy uh, for example if you see a sample code actually you can ask me what is resources everything i'm going to explain later so don't worry so i'm going to create a resource called aws vpc and example i'm going to explain what is this syntax i want to execute this guys i'm going to save that now what i'm going to do is here terraform init i'm going to type it will download the aws plugins now i need to type terraform plan guys what is a terraform plan terraform has new three things actually first is init to initialize the folder to download the plugin next is plan which will run a dry code and then apply when you apply what will happen is when you apply it it will apply the code that's it okay <clears throat> okay in it, we already performed the init now what i'm going to do is terraform plan now what it is saying error using credentials to get account id error calling so and so it's simply saying you don't have access guys so you don't have access you can't do that one why because you gave aws in region you tell it is going to create a please create a aws why should it create 
on what authorization you are oh, ter it will ask right aws will ask terraform on what authorization you are asking me to create you me some authorization or a, a some sort of credential i'll do that so what i'm going to do here i'm going to do something add the credentials how i'm going to do that so come down it is always important you need to come and see the argument reference guys so i'm going to copy this <clears throat> next is okay access key and secret key now it looks like json but if you see carefully you don't find any commas right okay simply you can you'll find like access key equal to and i'm going to give inverted commas i need to get the access key and secret key so what i'm going to do that is i'm going to go to iam <clears throat> iam mm, i'll go to the users add user i'll say we can devops programmatic access it's not aws console access guys aws console access is to access this console whatever the console you are seeing right for accessing that console you need to have the console access but right now we are using programmatic access programmatic access is required if you want to access the command line or to api aws api that means the terraform what it is going to do is it is going to access the aws api application programming interface just like a website and it will provide his access key and secret key okay so in order to access aws api cli sdk sdk means you have like java dotnet or something development kit it want to talk to aws right then what you need you need to have this programmatic access not the console access okay now i'm going to attach the policies i'm going to give administrator access next review and i'll say create user once you do that you get something called as access key and secret key okay i'm going to copy it here okay right let's try it again guys terraform plan now this time i should not get any error see so what exactly is happened is so it, terraform is going to perform the following actions it's going to create a vpc and if you see it is going to uh, create some, with some name actually name is not see tags is not showing here so that means it's not going to create any name and it's going to use this ip range and going to create it so this is what a terraform plan is guys plan is nothing but it will run it it will perform a dry run and it will show you this is what i'm going to do this is what i'm going to do so next is you need to apply init is done plan is done apply so apply hit enter it will again run the plan ask your confirmation to deploy see it is asking if you see it is asking so i'll going to give yes okay so example creating and vpc dot example creation complete after one second so i need to verify it guys i can go out and verify so what i can do is I'll go to VPC. And if I go to inside the VPC, you should see this one is the one because it's not, we didn't give any tag, guys. That's why it's not working. Okay. So you can ask me, why can't we give the tags? See, you don't think that this is, this is the name actually. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to explain you what is a resource later, but let me tell you from the aws perspective the name here which you are seeing is only tags actually so what you need to do in order to get that what i can do is i can actually come down i'm going to say tags okay yeah. i can do this i'm going to give tag as okay uh, name equal to my devops vpc okay let's try to give this let's see what will happen yeah so control yes sorry control s to save and if i try to run plan again 
so what will happen <clears throat> okay it is saying see tax it is giving like change plus i want to go into add this one okay fine now every time if you want to run and you want to plan and you want to apply plan is mandatory guys because we should know that what exactly is going to apply but when you apply it again 